No need really for an introduction to this iconic piece of Irish history, but uh, talk us through its provenance and, and why it's here tonight. Okay. This is, Ryan, this is an original 1916 proclamation. It's part of the Irish Volunteers Commemorative Organization uh, collection, and uh, we have this on display in our exhibition, Revolution 1916. And you should not just view this as a document from six days in 1916. It's a product of a social and cultural revolution that's been happening since the beginning of the turn of the 20th century. Sure. So it is a culmination. It has, as you see, it features Irish men and Irish women in the first line, giving equality for the first time yeah. to Unusual to women. first time, of course. Absolutely, yeah, because yeah. women didn't even have a vote at that time. Right. Right? And then also farther down, you have <clears throat> going back six times in 300 years, it's going back to the pedigree of resisting the empire in yeah. control in Ireland. Okay, and these, how many of these are left in, in <clears throat> intact like this? They reckon about 50. It would have been up to 1,000 printed in 1916, but the paper quality wasn't very good. So 50 kind of equal split between private collections and uh, museums, and this particular one is owned by Pat O'Hagan. He's the president of the Irish Volunteers Commemorative Organisation. If one was to have one of these things in their attic, by chance, and uh, thought maybe I'll, I'll just have a look at the auction business and see maybe if it's uh, worth something. What are we talking about? Well, <clears throat> the last one of these to go on sale was in Sotheby's in December of last year, and it made €420,000. Okay, there's a rush to the attics around the country. I was just going to think so. <laughs>